How much do you think people's entertainment tastes and interests are the result of everyone else's? Okay, so this is like an exploration of originality versus leaning into the crowd. Um, it's a good question. I feel like I feel like mine is fairly original, but but probably mostly influenced by the closest people to me, mm-hmm. right? Like. Uh, you know, my heavy care for science fiction probably comes from the fact that everybody in my family has a heavy care for. I'm, I, it's funny why I'm phrasing it that way. A heavy care. A heavy like, care. We really carry the burden of science fiction. <laughs> we we care very much about it. Carry on the lineage of yes. science fiction love. It does feel to me a little bit more familial than perhaps um, just like what everybody else is doing. Mm-hmm. I get that. I'm kind of the same way. I'm kind of like a social chameleon, I guess you could say. So a lot of um, like my mannerisms and stuff like that kind of can change or I'll pull them from other people and kind of replicate them. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to pop culture, you know, I think the same applies. Like you want to be, you know, be able to talk about things with the people that are closest with you. So you kind of start to love those things. Mm -hmm. It's like Doctor Who and that was really popular. I was really into Doctor Who. I'm not as into it now, but Mm -hmm. that was definitely onset by everybody in my friend group being into it Mm -hmm. um but yeah i think that's that's kind of the case and you know memes influence things and you kind of feel like you're part of this this club especially with pop culture i think about how a lot of content does have these waves of popularity you know you think about how uh when game of thrones was such a big thing Mm -hmm. you know it's like you watched game of thrones because everybody was watching game of thrones um and there are, there are, Witcher maybe is probably similar, you know, there's these big waves of popularity that come with things that I do think very much influence whether somebody likes something or partakes of something mm-hmm. or not. Well, beyond just the service level of passing like as, as it goes, um, I think that for some, for you to become a, like a real fan of something, to, to have a real appreciation for something, I think that, you know, there is a certain amount of things in your life that you discover wholly on your own and they're uniquely yours. But, you know, I think that for a lot of people in my experience, uh, in particular, uh, a lot of the things that I really love and cherish in my life, I have had like people or an individual person who was there to show me what was cool about the thing to mm. show me all the mm-hmm. ins and outs and a mentor yeah and, pop and culture and mentor exactly <laughs> and to show you things that's like oh don't you see how this is cool because these these multiple things that you wouldn't just at first notice and you know i feel like not having somebody do that for football is what has produced a lack of you know heightened interest in football mm-hmm. for me but there have been lots of things that have that have Mm -hmm. I feel like as somebody who doesn't naturally like watch a lot of media or like I don't look forward to just sitting down and and watching something no matter what it Mm -hmm. is I feel like people who know me really well like my friends will suggest things specifically for me and tell me no you must watch this you particularly will love it and then when I finally do I do love it. And Mm -hmm. so they know you. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) (laughs) So I think that that, and that helps me also to like not have to watch through a ton of things to find those things. I really like, like the people I am close to and who know me are able to like select those for me. So I feel Mm -hmm. like I kind of get the best of it. How long do you normally resist? Um, I mean, it's not, I'm not purposefully resisting. It just <laughs> I'm currently in a battle with a friend trying to get them to watch a show and they're the type of person who is like, "Oh, you want me to watch it? Well, then it, it can't be good." Oh, it's like rude. No, no, no. No, it's a universal like worldwide thing. It's like okay. other people like it. Therefore, it must be oh, base and surface level. Cuz my taste right. is so specific. I have to I have to discover on my own and and be able to show for myself why it's cool. They're not going to Before seeing it, I guess. They're not going to auto-subscribe <laughs> to the homogeny of the show. Mm-hmm. What's, yeah. what's the show? Avatar The Last Airbender. Oh. Avatar. It's my favorite show That's of all time. It's a great time. show. Uh-huh. Yeah. I've seen it like eight times. They should Every watch episode. it. Yeah. <laughs> we should find them. Hunt them down. Make so, them watch it. So all in all, I think definitely, for the most part, the content that people as a whole consume and like is influenced by what everybody else likes. Maybe on an individual level, Mm -hmm. we are more significantly influenced by the people who are closest to us, who know us best. And there's probably a pretty small sliver of the things that we love that we just find on our own. Mm -hmm. Agreed? Agreed. 
Yeah, I think it's all based around community and, you know, you want to be able to relate to other people who have a similar interest, so you're going to kind of find those things and so you can relate to other people. And there's infinite content. There's yeah. literally... Oh boy, is there. There are... The, there is probably quadrillions of hours of content to watch. And that's probably actually too big of a number. But <laughs> there are probably slide over exactly. But, you know, there, there's, there's a bunch. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you could watch out there. And deciding what to watch is one thing. But even knowing it ex exists oftentimes requires someone in your sphere mm -hmm. having mentioned it. And that's like a big way of how... Mm -hmm. You know your tastes and are affected by when others. you say watch it's watch read play consume exactly mm -hmm. engage with yeah, yeah whatever yeah. the medium well there's so much stuff of like fighting for our attention like we feel like even now more than ever like the time that we do spend is like this is the time if i'm going to dedicate 16 hours of my life towards a show it better be good because there's three million other options out there that i could have liked better quadrillion Quadrillion, cabillion, fulfillion, jajillion. Fulfillion, I like that one. New words, <laughs> only on the Outpost Podcast.